Because it is different. It is different if you're an Olympic weightlifter and if you're an athlete. We work in a, in a setting here where, you know, I don't want to go battle, you know, because I'm just a regular guy. But, I mean, Justin and I put 450 kids through this weight room a day. We don't have time to talk about elbow angles. And, and I'm not, I'm not like skipping out the door saying I don't want to do my job. You have to get the most bang for your buck, okay? You have to know why you're doing this movement, and you have to get the things you want out of the movement, okay? I do not think we'd be doing our athletes justice if they did 13 sets of two power snatch and a bicep curl, and that was their workout, because I've worked with people who think that's the answer. This is an important tool, and it's a very important tool, but it is only one tool in the toolbox, okay? We also need to warm up. We also need to stretch. We also need to single leg squat. We also need to train our hamstrings. We also need to train our core. We also need to condition. And if you spend 15 hours a week doing power snatches from the floor to make sure the bar trajectory is perfect, you know, you're going to miss the point. Okay? And I'm very, I feel strongly about that. And I really do. I think you've got to use these in the right way and, and, and really understand what you're getting out of them, okay? Important things that I touched on that I feel strongly about. I do feel that that stretch reflex has got to be like an RDL to really use the momentum and really stretch those muscles. I really feel that this is the right position to pull in. If you keep the upper back flat and the low back is arched, you will use those hip extensors to make the bar move fast. I've seen it happen, it works. We have athletes that come in and our experienced lifters, and we add 100 pounds to their max lift. And it's not all about weight, you know, some of it's about bar speed, but it does work. So you've got to get to that good stretch position, okay? It is important to stress the fact that you don't want to start your feet. Because if you are training, if you're using this lift to help train athletes or help people to be more explosive, you're using it to get hip extension. You do not get hip extension when you pick your feet up and stomp, okay? Very important. Watch the feet sliding out to the side. You know, some athletes, you may have to do rack shrugs and hang shrugs for two years to teach them to get extended. But don't rush things and throw somebody into a clean and just say, do it, because bad things are going to happen, okay? Um, other areas that we talk about safety, uh, that's why these things are made of rubber. If we feel uncomfortable that we're falling backward, if we feel like we dropped too far, that's another reason why I talked about let the athletes do some things that they feel comfortable with. If I'm dropping all the way down to a squat clean and my elbow hits my knee, that's not a good position to be in either. 